Hello Libra, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 29th of August through to the 4th of September 2022 or thereabouts. It could well resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, but just to mention Libra that it, it is um, a general reading so it won't resonate with everybody um, but it will with some almost. Alright, so let's see what the Universal Energies would like to um, just to help you to consider at this time we all have free will and all that so take off from it what is relevant for you all right Libra we've got number 25 here <clears throat> And this talks about things sometimes being misleading, um, illusions and confusion. All right, we'll just put that to one side. And um, number 50, and this talks about uh, curiosity, making comparisons, perhaps a level of dissatisfaction with where you are or the current situation and wanting to expand out, get out of your current environment situation and, and experience um, have, have new experiences, new adventures, new environments. All right. So, um, okay. Let's see. An important message for Libra, please. Important message for Libra. Clarify <clears throat> all the cards on the table, please, for Libra. We clarify all the cards on the table for Libra, please. Right, Libra, we have the Three of Swords and we have awareness, um, raised awareness. This is the Magician energy in Ordinary Tarot, but the focus here is on a raised awareness. Um, but the lead card here, we've got the Three of Swords and this is about heartache, heartbreak, um, things pulling at your, something pulling at your heartstrings. All right, a very difficult um, energy, difficult situation. Um, but whatever it is, it's, you've got to, you're going to have a raised awareness about something a raised knowledge, a raised understanding about something um, that um, I feel is, is causing this heartache and heartbreak. Remember this reading isn't for everybody, Libra, um, it's just for some of you. But the, at the heart of your reading we have the Four of Cups and positive movement forward. And the Four of Cups is when you're feeling a little bit <clears throat> disenchanted about something um, you can see the the cups here are quite empty. There's one fell over, a bit higgledy piggledy, um, and you're sort of feeling a little bit um, low in energy here, 
distracted if you like um, there is something up here waiting for there's a there's some form of an opportunity here something very positive up here um, but you're choosing not to look you've got your hand in front of your face there and you're choosing not to look at what it is um, and that's because of your um, current energy I feel um, but the clarifier is positive movement forward so there is definitely something moving forward and your energies are moving forward something opportunities are coming in and messages perhaps going backwards and forwards the wind behind your sails here and and the, the bird of spirit guiding you towards positivity good times joy and happiness however um, while you're in the current energy you're not going to be able to see that or take advantage of it Right, I feel it's something to do with um, the Three of Swords, this the heartache and becoming aware of a situation. And the situation may have something to do with um, things being misleading and a level of confusion and d illusions and illusions around. Alright, so let's see, what's at the root of this? Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords and Memories of Love. The Seven of Swords is a very deceptive energy. Um, this is concerning, um, I feel this is concerning someone who's been around who or connected to you that um, has had a, 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 a deceptive energy, um, has taken what didn't belong to him or her. Um, yes, generally, generally being deceptive and underhand. Um, and then just trying to work out how to... Um, get themselves out of, of this uh, bit of a sticky situation that they now find themselves in. They don't know what to do with what, what it is they have. So, you know, and this is very general. Um, what I'm saying now is very general. Um, so it's, it's like a different meaning for all of you, Libra. Uh, but somebody working very hard trying to sort this situation out. Um, but alongside of it is memories of love and... So this is nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about people or somebody that's been in your life for a long time. Um, so there's memories of love here. Um, and that's either, that's either connected to this person um, who is trying to work out how to um, get themselves back on track after being very deceptive uh, and thinking about love and lost love, perhaps. Um, all this is about yourself thinking about this person and, and the memories of love with this person. All right. So that's at the root of this. And the past influences. We have the Four of Pentacles and transformation. So what's happened in the past? Um, somebody keeping something under lock and key. Um, hiding valuables, keeping things close to their chest. Um, protecting what, what was theirs. All right, um, but then there came an end to that. There came an end to that, Libra, for some of you, um, because this is the death and transformation energy here, major arcana. So there was de definitely an ending to this situation, uh, and things have been transforming and changing. So that's in the past. And I feel, for some of you, you're perhaps still preoccupied here, with what's gone, with the memories of love, um, even though there is now positive movement forward. Because, of course, we've got heartbreak and heartache up here and your raised awareness about this, which is what's put you in this Four of Cups, low energy here. All right, Libra, um, what's on your mind at the moment? Well, we have the Three of Cups and we have power. So what you're thinking about is um, that the Three of Cups in its purest form is some form of celebration, coming together with family, friends, community and celebrating good times. All right, but for me as a reader, the Three of Cups is when there's been a third party interference in some way. And third party can mean um, there's another person getting in, in the way of a relationship. But it can also mean somebody's addictions, obsessions, um, ego perhaps and 
sometimes it's an illness that can um, that can uh, interfere with a relationship. So this is what you're thinking about to some capacity, Libra. Um, and then power, and then drawing on your being strong, drawing on your inner power, needing to be strong because of this situation. Now, what have we got going forward? Well, going forward, Libra, for some of you, we've got the Three of Pentacles and Disruption. And the Three of Pentacles is when you've been very focused, very working hard on something and other people around you admiring your skills. And here you are putting the finishing touches to what it is that you've been creating. However, we have disruption alongside of that and this is very similar to the Tower energy in Ordinary Tarot. It's a major arcana. So something is going to be disrupting your energy um, and disrupting this um, what it is you're working on. There's going to be a major disruption coming in um, that's going to be quite difficult for you insofar as being able to focus and apply yourself to what it is you're working on. Remember Libra, this reading isn't for everybody, all right, but it is for somebody or for a few of you. I feel we've got this link with um, illusion and delusion and confusion. Um, perhaps being a mis... Um, I'm trying to think of the word, Libra. It's like, looking at the picture here, it's like somebody is confusing you by, with their words, with their actions, um, put, putting themselves forward in a different light to what they actually are here. Very, very misleading. Okay. I feel that's linked to whatever this disruption is going to mean for some of you. But of course you have got a raised awareness or you're going to have a raised awareness and that's what you've got to draw on your inner strength. To do with some form of a, I feel, a third party interference here that is, le is leading to um, heartbreak and heartache. For some of you, there's definitely been a deceptive energy around. Although that deceptive energy um, has come to an end or is transforming. But it's how it's left you feeling, Libra, here. Okay, so what is it your spirit guide would like to say to you? We've got the Eight of Pentacles here and we've got financial and material changes. So Libra, for some of you, um, your spirit guides want to say that this is the apprenticeship card. This is when you're learning, work, being very focused, learning a new skill. Um, and you know, we've already had the Three of Pentacles there going forward. Well, here it, here it is, a, a very similar energy with the Eight of Pentacles. So practice, practicing, practicing, being focused, working hard, um, being inspired with what it is you're working on. Um, but there are going to be some financial and material changes for a while. Um, so while it is you are building up your skills with this, whatever it is, and it will be something different for all of you, then there's not going to be so much money around. Um, things are there's going to be a the cupboard's going to be a little bit half empty, if you like, rather than being half full. Um, as things are changing and, and this transformation time is, is happening. All right. Um, so just to, just to be aware that there won't be as much going around as there has been in the past. Remember, this is just for some of you, Libra. It's not for everybody. All right, so I'm just going to get two final uh, messages. And just a reminder about this um, number 50, which is about um, being curious about difference, about change. You know, making comparisons, comparing where you are with perhaps with where you want to be. Okay. 
Right, uh, two final messages please for Libra. Two final messages for Libra please. Right, Libra. We've got the Four of Pentacles here, um, which we have seen here in the, the past. In the past, influence the Four of Pentacles was there with transformation. Um, so here it is again, and this is just saying that you know somebody looking after what they've got, but sort of harboring what they have keeping it away from the sight of others. All right, somebody storing and keeping what they have away from others. All right, um, but here we are, the Eight of Wands, and of course we've seen that here with the number eight positive movement forward, and this is the same energy here. So there's information going to be coming in. Uh, messages are going to be coming in, information going to be coming in about somebody that's hoarding, keeping um, money perhaps or something away um, from your sight. So information is going to be coming in about that and I think that's connected with the raised awareness here. All right, remember Libra, this reading isn't for everybody um, but it, it is for somebody who's going to be tuning in to watch this this video. So whoever this is for, um, I hope the reading has been useful for you and provided some clarity and some information. Um, but good luck going forward and until next time Libra, bye bye for now.